brain so large my brain so big my brain so wrinkle in here can't see it right now because your brain tiny your brain stinky small i even have glasses but with my help and with these riddles we might be able to make that big old smoother of yours turn into a wrinkler there's this website it's not a website, it's a- well, technically it is. It's a YouTube channel. <laughs> it's called 7 Second Riddles. Now, I am very good at these. I have never failed a riddle in my entire life. You know how I be. You know I'm out here with the biggest, roundest, best brain of all. It's very coveted. I'm starting to sound like a certain person on Twitter right now. I'm in the mood to have my brain teased and tweezed and Bounced around, so let's do some riddles. This uh, YouTube channel uploads all of these riddles. Uh, if you want to go see some of them for yourself, uh, go check them out. Seven second riddles, since I'm using their footage for this video, so hopefully that's okay. Who's the fake? Eight out of ten can't guess the country. No, I want some- I let's go to their- their most popular. Fourteen brain teasers that'll force your brain to work! We'll see. I don't think my brain has worked a day of its entire life. What up? Uh, yeah! Seven second riddles in a house, what? Uh, yeah! Get my brain on! Get my wrinkle on! Seven second riddles, what up? Okay, which would you choose? A. Smart but ugly. B. Rich but stupid. C. Sexy but poor. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, uh, smart but ugly. She's not ugly, she's very cute! Is this seven seconds? This feels like a lot longer than seven seconds. If you choose A, you don't take quick decisions and prefer to consider all your options. I would object to that, considering that it's a seven second riddle, which means that all decisions are quick. Also, that's not a riddle! <laughs> that's a, that's a preference! <laughs> that's a subjective decision! Your emotional state is what's important for you. Thank you. Not only do I have a massive, very muscular brain, I also have very muscular emotions. Okay, a man suspected of smuggling drugs often flies the same routes. Okay. The police check him over and over again. They're up his ass. They're up his ass. That's my answer. Final answer, lock it in, they're up his ass. The suspect carries the same items every time. They're up his ass! A new detective read the list and immediately guessed where to look for the drugs. Were they up his ass? I don't know. Well, up their ass is like the perfectly reasonable, honest answer, but I guess in the toothpaste. Or what is this? A clam? It's in the clam. The tube of toothpaste! That was up his ass! The suspect never carries a toothbrush. Yeah, that's what- that, uh, That's exactly my reasoning. That's exactly why I picked that. Have you ever been one of those people that goes to the airport? Probably not anymore. You can't go to airports right now. It's a very dangerous place. But when I used to go to airports in the long time ago, in the long, long ago, have you ever been one of those people that has no drugs on you? You have nothing in your suitcase that's dangerous. You were just going on a nice trip to somewhere inconsequential, and nothing can go wrong. But for some reason you're convinced there's a bag of cocaine up your bum. I'm always like that. You get to customs and they're like, any fruit or veg- COCAINE! ALL UP IN ME! Can you detect your partner's infidelity? Alright. Oh, you call them honey. So boring to have dinner without you. There's two glasses of wine! I nailed it immediately! Two glasses of wine! She either has somebody over, or she just... Doubled up. Ah! My brain so wrinkled! Can you take your partner's infidelity? Okay, here we go. Going to watch football. I can see the reflection of someone on his lap in the TV! <laughs> Come on! What is that? His blow up doll? God, these people out here being so dumb! They probably have smooth brain. They probably don't have massive wrinkle like I do. What is my quarantine hair doing? I don't know, it's taking on a life of its own. Can you spot my hair's infidelity? Apparently, I'm very good at spotting cheaters. Can you spot your partner's infidelity? There's a bra up there! I have a lot of work. I mean, you do. What is going on, man? I know a good bra when I see one. There's something under the bed. I see something under the bed. I've played horror games before. I can sense the things under the bed. <laughs> oh, God! That's freaky! Edward Cullen, what are you doing under there? Alright, what's going on in this one? Uh, urgently going to New York for business. Then why are you bringing a basketball with you? Oh god, I don't know this one. There's a shoe! 
There's a stiletto. What is this car? <laughs> That's how you get caught cheating. I'm going on a work. I went on a work trip. And it's like I know you're cheating on me, Gerald. I know it. I saw the stiletto on your dashboard. Don't even try to deny it, Gerald. I know. Gerald, how about you clean the rest of your car? You got keys. You got glasses all over the place. You got a basketball in a bag. I'm sure if you go to New York for business, they'll have basketballs in there. In New York. In in that place. You got coffee cups. You got stilettos. You got a li little lucky cat. There's also a guy over there in the other car that's staring at you. That's a that's a private investigator. Your uh, your significant other sent a private investigator after you, and now they've seen the stiletto in the front of the car, and now your relationship's over. I'm sorry, Gerald. A newlywed couple was walking over the falls. Okay. Incredibly dangerous. Do you want to be the newly dead couple? Could you jump down the falls to prove your love to me? Absolutely, 100%, unequivocally, no. He slowly approached the precipice. Dude! I'm telling you, newly dead! Turning around... He told her just one word. Apples. What did he say? He said no! He just said no! He turned around and- <laughs> Or he said divorce. If you ever get newly married, newly wedded, newly time, you should- Actually, anything at all! You should never ask somebody to jump over the edge of a precipice into- just the most tumultuous water. How about I just say I love you? Kind of proves my my love for you that way. She's not worth it, Ricardo. She's not worth it. Don't jump. Just say no and go. Push. And they lived happily ever after. <laughs> what? <laughs> they are not gonna have a good relationship. You got married. And then told him that he needed to prove his love to you. He married you! <laughs> he got down on one knee and proposed, probably. I, maybe he got down on two knees. I don't know his preferences. Planned out a whole wedding. Got married to you. And then you said prove your love to me by jumping off a waterfall? Oh, are those divorce bells I hear ringing? Who is the kid's father? Uh, neither. Because neither of them have blonde hair. It's secret dad number C. No! The answer is that his father left years ago. He's an orphan! His father left years ago! A. He is keeping his eyes on the kid. Just skimming the newspaper lightly. That means nothing. Someone who likes to kill children at a playground would also be doing the same thing. A kidnapper would be doing the same thing. That means nothing. He's tense and ready to take care of the kid? B. He's all consumed with his phone. A lot of parents are. <laughs> are you saying that you can't be a parent and bring your kid to a playground and not go on your phone? His legs are crossed. He's gone way inside. <laughs> what does that mean? If you chose A, you're a person with great analytical skills. <laughs> Whoopsies, guys. No analytical skills here. Bell of smooth brain. You rely on your logical mind and don't rush to judge before you collect all the facts. I said that his father left or that his father was dead, so... What does it say about me? You're exploring an ancient Mayan tomb. Ooh, finally some action. That was hidden in the jungle for thousands of years. Who is the bird's father? All right, taking pictures. Earthquake, whole place is coming down. Suddenly, the door behind you closes and you are tarped. Oh no. There are three ways in front of you. The first is guarded by poisonous plants. The second leads to a very deep hole. <laughs> the second one is literally just jump off and die. That's the third way out. The secret way out is the way out of everything. The third is closed with an ancient iron door. Okay. Which way would you go? So either die of poison, die of death, or go through a door. I'm gonna choose the door. If the tomb is thousands of years old, Iron doors should have totally rusted in the wet climate of the jungle. <laughs> yes, that is exactly why I chose the door. I deduced it, guys. I thought Mayan temple? Hmm, hold on. The Mayans didn't have iron. Pfft, stinky smooth brainer. Come on. Bell of disappointment. It wasn't because I thought I'd die of poison or I'd die of breaking everything. Nah. 
It's because of the rust on the iron door. Come on, guys. Use your brains. A foreign tourist came to the police. All right, we're off to a good start. A guy with a long beard and a tattoo. Damn it. It was me. Put a gun in my face and forced me to hand over my wallet. Don't worry. The attacker is one of these quintuplets. They've already been arrested. You just have to identify him. Uh... Good old righty! The guy in the far right! Oh... Oh no. That's good. Okay. Yeah? This guy has a, a short beard and the other guy has a thing on his hand. Yeah. Come on, don't even test me! I'm too good at this! Ooh... Some of these have bad ratings. 78%? 54%? Why is this one... Hated by 42,000 people. Guess the word. Cock! Rooster! Feet! Toaster oven! Toaster alarm clock! Climb! What? You're not even gonna tell me how? I don't get it. These are not riddles! That's not a riddle! That's a spot the difference! This is just flag knowledge! That's not a riddle! Listen here, seven second riddles, okay? I'm gonna give you some seven second knowledge. A riddle is a question or statement intentionally phrased so as to require ingenuity in ascertaining its answer or meaning. Guessing which flag is real requires ingenuity to answer its answer properly, but it's not phrased in intentionally for me to do- Is it a riddle? Am I wrong? All right. This one has a high rating. Uh, yeah. Seven second riddles. What? Yeah. Use your brain, uh. Don't be stinky. Who has a girlfriend? Uh, the, the guy in the left because there's a second toothbrush in the cup. I'm smarty. Or he could just have two toothbrushes. Who has a girlfriend? Are you going to say the guy in the left because there's a bra on the chair? Because maybe he likes to wear the bra. Maybe they're not even a he. What about the person on the right, huh? Cleaning up. No person who single cleans. Everybody who cleans are in a relationship because they don't want the other person to see what a slob they are. When I'm here on my own, single, in the before time, in the long, long ago, I never cleaned. The place was filthy. It was like walking through Mount Everest of dust. Mount Everdust. Are we going to say the guy on the right because there's lipstick on the cup? Maybe he likes wearing lipstick. Not very hard there, riddles. I told you. I'm too smart for this. I have glasses. People who have glasses are way smarter than everybody else. Come on. I'm very wrinkle. The power was out all over town. Jim was in the hospital that day. He had to be out soon when the power was back on. The nurse entered the room. <laughs> Excuse me? She found Jim stabbed to death? <laughs> what? I thought we were going down the line of like, Jim was gone. Jim was already dead. What happened? Backup generator didn't kick in. Maybe even Jim changed clothes, but no. Jim was stabbed to death. One second you're lying alone in the hospital bed, power goes out, next minute you wake up dead. The police questioned the suspects. Nurse, cleaning lady, doctor, Jim's wife. I was in the doctor's lounge until the power was on. Okay, story maybe checks out. I was having tea in the staff room. Okay? Yeah, guys, I'm into this! Oh, solving murders has never been so lit! I was speaking to a patient. Okay. I was buying food at the vending machine. Hmm. It's the cleaning lady or Jim's wife? The power was out. How could you be buying anything? Doctor, how are you talking to a patient in the dark? Uh, cleaning lady! You can't make tea in the dark! You'll burn your hands! God damn it all! Don't you need electricity to boil water to make tea? How did the cleaning lady make the tea? And how did she pour the boiling water into the cup without pouring it all over her hands and burning herself? I don't trust anybody who can make tea in the dark. I'm sorry. <coughs> Distrust Bell. Nah, never trust an- an Irishman never trust anyone who can make tea in the dark. It's one of the four tenants that we're brought up with in Ireland. One, potatoes are awesome.
Two, eat more potatoes. Three, never trust anyone who can make tea in the dark. And four, sure feck it, it'll be grand. Who is a terrorist? Okay, we're just jumping right into that one. Am I supposed to be seeing a terrorist here? The person with a suitcase that could have a bomb in it. Oh. There might not be a terrorist, there might just be a dumbass. Alright, I'm deducing terrorists again. Uh, I, the guy who left first. Because <laughs> he doesn't want to be near a bomb. Ah, oh, damn, man! You never suspect! She's walking around there in her red little skirt and her white shirt with an envelope in her hand. Boom! Terrorist. Man. All these times that I was putting trash in the bin, I never realized I was being a terrorist. Oh, definitely the lady in the front. Who needs a shirt with that many cats on it, huh? Nobody's doing anything. Does she have a corn on the cob in the back? She's the terrorist. Where do you get a corn on the cob at the cinema? How do you sneak one of those in? Hold on, I need to use my- Yeah. Uh, ab I saw it. I saw it immediately. Absolute, definite terrorist. Corn cob lady. Right in the comments. Boo! Boo! Let's use their tactic. Let's use their tactic against them. Right down in my comments. Who you think was the terrorist? I think it's corn cob lady. She just had a look about her. Somebody said the guy with the coat because if you look carefully, there is a bomb in his popcorn. <laughs> There's just a bomb in the popcorn. Oh my god. <laughs> you know, those were so subtle. Why did I not see that? <laughs> it's just brought. Oh, I would like a large popcorn, please, so I can hide my bomb in it. <laughs> well, that's gonna do it for the seven second riddles. Not as hard as I expected, but I do have a pair of glasses and a very wrinkly brain. <laughs> Let me know if you want to see any more of these types of things. Um, or if there's any other websites that have really good riddles that you can send me to because these these are always kind of fun to interact with and see if we can get the answer. Did a lot of, did you get all the answers right? I knew it. Yes. All of my wrinkle brains out there. You guys know what's up. Very wrinkle, no stink. But I must go now. <coughs> Farewell. And as we always say, all wrinkle, no stinkle. <laughs>